Can you make a full screen? My brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and I mean, oh, 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 pause it right there. Pause that shit right the fuck there. So y'all all heard that shit, right? Yeah, he said back in the day, what? Some. So bring it back to the beginning. <laughs> he admitting to waking up in bed at all. I, I should look like he fresh off the goddamn plane. I should, I should, I should. the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn. No. That nigga said we used to wake up. All right, but anyway. Your eyes are playing tricks on you. That was indeed Diddy admitting to waking up in bed with Kevin Hart and Usher. A lot of new, controversial tea has come to light about Sean Combs, and many have raised question marks over the sexuality he says he is in public. Even Kevin Hart can't believe what Diddy is saying out loud and revealing to the public. Rumors about Diddy being gay and having affairs with several Hollywood superstars have always permeated the industry, but this is some next-level stuff. Diddy doesn't seem to be wanting to stay in the closet anymore, telling Kevin Hart that he looks beautiful in this Instagram Live. And she's like, no, nah, it's enough. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I get it. You got it. You look time. beautiful. It was a I great got move. You know, great I throw that pride. I get it. Diddy hosted a dirty money party where he invited Kevin Hart and Usher and hit up Kevin a lot in a very subtle manner. We don't blame him. Kevin is one good looking dude. But Diddy seems to be the sort of person that has seen the way the public has interpreted his actions and he's kind of let them run with it. Maybe because they're absolutely right. One example is this time when he called Kevin into the bathroom but said no homo as soon as the camera panned to him. Listen, listen. Uh, Yo, come in here. No homo, no homo. We're gonna get some ladies in here, but we're gonna have. We're gonna make sure our reference. Break. What he said? No homo, no homo. Exactly. We're gonna make why, sure our what? Why do you have to say that if there's no activity like that going down? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. All right, but yeah, continue. Say pause, say pause, 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 pause. pause. Don't acknowledge it. Nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. Did he did say no homo, which usually means what it sounds like in bro code. But that might just not apply to the man because he does, in fact, have a history of a lot of homo and the way he said it in the. <laughs> ah, shorty, does she body them with that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why did she throw that shade like that? <laughs> he indeed has a lot of homo. <laughs> with that bang on the back of the head. Just almost as if he did it but couldn't say it. In this next clip, Diddy takes it one step further by asking Kevin to talk about him as if he was a baby. Matter of fact, Kevin, come here. Kevin, Kevin, I want you to talk about me as a baby. Come here. Diddy seems to be growing in confidence with his sexuality with each news report. Sexuality? And that was exactly the case when he kissed B-R-O-N-N-Y James without his consent. Hot zone. Hold on. Shout out to Diddy's sons who look nothing like him, Lauren. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Why do you spend your life savings while trying to become a oh, professional what the hell? Leader? What if I Are you me? tired of Everybody trading on that? Right Are you tired of losing? Yes. <laughs> from Kevin Hart himself is that jealousy we sense from Kevin Hart is the critically acclaimed comedian also a sucker for Sean Combs's little ditty. It could certainly be a possibility. Little ditty. That <laughs> analyze. Kevin Hart even proceeded to hit Diddy after that, telling him that he should work out and work on his body. Are these two ramping up the heat in the room or what? It's pretty obvious that there's something <laughs> going on between the two, and it looks very likely to also involve Usher considering the way Diddy talks about him at the start of the video. But all of this is not that unusual when you consider how Diddy has acted in the past and the evidence surrounding his seemingly hidden sexuality. Back in the day, when he was just a baby-faced teen signed to Laugh Days Records, he was taken under the wing of none other than P. Diddy himself. Sounds like a dream come true, right? Well, hold on to your hats, because it turns out there was more than just mentorship going on between these two. According to the cringeworthy interview that P. Diddy did with Kevin Hart where he said Usher and he used to wake up in the same bed, it seems like things got pretty cozy between the mentor and mentee. Apparently, Usher moved all the way to the Big Apple to shack up with Diddy when he was just 14 years old. Mm. Let's just say that some eyebrow raising mm. activities. 14, nigga. Definitely pause worthy. So let's stop here. Not only the females underage, but the males underage being Weinsteined. Mm, they might have been Diddy Steen. Exactly. Oh, boy were going down in Diddy's household. Why did he have that haircut? That was terrible. Mentoring was happening. 
But it's safe to say that it wasn't just about making hit records. Another video involving Usher and Diddy has been making rounds on the internet, and yeah, we'll let you experience this one first. That's just Diddy amping Usher up for his next performance, but what's really revealing is what he says after that. You in the kitchen eating all my cereal. <laughs> oh, oh, well, pause well, that shit. Pause that shit. That you hear it again? That cereal. Yeah. The same interview with Kevin Hart from the very beginning where they said they would wake up and wrestle over cornflakes. I'm trying to tell you, nigga, connect them dots. Mm. Playing tricks on me. Did you just hear the latest rumors about what Usher was getting up to in the kitchen? And you thought people were exaggerating when they said things got freaky when he was living with Diddy. Despite all the whispers and speculation, Usher has been pretty tight-lipped about what really went down during his time under Diddy's wing. But, during a juicy interview with the one and only Howard Stern, Usher finally gave us a little taste of what we've been craving. He may not have spilled all the tea, but Usher dropped some major hints about just how close he and Diddy really were. Let's just say there was a whole lot of mentoring going on, and it wasn't just about music. Oh no, honey, things got steamy, and we're not talking about the kitchen. Apparently, it wasn't until after Usher's album dropped that he what? found out about a certain child sipping champagne in the VIP section of a club with Diddy. And guess who that child was? You guessed it, Usher himself. Talk about a wild ride. Now, Usher hasn't exactly come out and spilled the tea about what exactly went down between him and Diddy. But he did let it slip that some pretty questionable things happened while he was staying at Diddy's crib. And when Usher graced the cover of Essence magazine, he couldn't help but drop a few hints about his past with Diddy and just how much he looks up to Diddy. Something that you should know about me is that I'm a businessman before I'm anything else, Usher revealed. Look at the capabilities of Martha Stewart or Russell Simmons or Sean Puffy Combs or even 50 Cent with G-Unit. Look at what they did with their licensing. This is my opportunity to do the same. Clothing and shoes are kind of the standard nowadays, so I'm trying to figure out how I can come at it from a different angle. Watches, clothes, perfume, cologne, facial and acne products. There are so many possibilities. Acne and everything was going so What does that have to do with Diddy? I know, right? Usher's time living with Diddy. That's when things got real interesting. Despite all the juicy rumors and speculation, Usher suddenly got super tight-lipped about his past with Diddy. Normally a total chatterbox, Usher was suddenly as restrained Normally a whole chatterbox, girl, no, what? He said, I want to say some SH for my book one day. He said, I'll put it this way, there was a lot of sex. Oh boy, now, before y'all start blaming Usher's parents for not protecting him from Diddy's clutches, let me tell you what's really going on. According to Usher himself, his parents had no idea what was going down while he was living with Diddy. But that doesn't mean they were just gonna sit back and let Diddy get away with it. Mary J. Blige spilled the tea that Usher's mom actually tried to get back at Diddy. She was not gonna let it get away with messing with her baby boy. But wait, it gets even crazier. Back in November of 2022, Look at this nigga. reports that Kim wiping a nigga mouth and shit. What the fuck is going on there? On Diddy. Come on now. To the stylist, Diddy slept with different. You know what I'm saying? What nigga? What? But that's not even the wildest part. The stylist also claimed that Usher's mom. What? So Usher's mom and Mary J. Blige even was basically trying to low key reveal that some not above boy shit was going on with Diddy and a young Usher at that time. Hmm. 14 years old. Allegedly being intimate with Usher. And just when we thought things couldn't get any messier, there's talk of a video. Allegedly, Kim Porter had footage of Usher. And that nigga Diddy is really sick. Too excited. We got to keep it real and mention that Kim died under mysterious circumstances. Exactly. I think she died because she was going to reveal the whole source on that shit. Probably, and, 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 man. And I wouldn't put it past. And had our ass sent up out of here. He's the same nigga who managed big and had big kill. Mm, yeah, I wouldn't put it past Diddy. And it looks like there's a whole lot of smoke surrounding Diddy and So while he and his heart of hearts probably did love her, not forget about Orlando he didn't Brown love the fact that she was about to goddamn reveal his ass to the, the world like that. You know what I'm saying? That Diddy had been smashing him and other young men. Wait, what? Yeah. You, but that sounds what crazy. happened to Orlando? What the fuck Orlando Orlando yeah, 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 Orlando just... Wait, you said Diddy... You, you, you said Diddy's mom knew about him and Usher? Diddy, uh, Usher's mom knew Usher's mom. So Usher's mom. Oh, uh, damn. Williams in a compromising position. 
I'm talking about Felicio. Honey, That's crazy. This right, even Jaguar Wright put this shit out there. In, she saw Christopher Williams down on his knees doing his thing while Diddy just sat there. Oh, the wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't know about you. Pause wait, that. what? Some yeah, pause that. Filling some major tea about Diddy's alleged secret life. The former Disney star revealed that Diddy had been smashing him and other young men. Wait, what? Oh, wait, pause that. You, pause that. Pretty disturbing. So. When was yeah, this revealed? Your yeah, boy was saying that, or we already know it's on record that Orlando, whatever his last name is, was a famous childhood <laughs> actor that got ran through. Oh, Orlando Brown, isn't it? Yeah, he got ran through as a child actor by these devils in the industry. And oh, is I that guess, what he said? Yeah, yeah, I definitely knew that from like years ago. Oh, Which that's explained, why he's once again, like, like I tell y'all, I keep telling y'all the drug behavior. That explains when you look, here's the formula child actor plus adulthood and drug problem equals they were goddamn probably most likely molested as a child actor, which by the time they got old enough, you know, what I mean, they were still carrying all that trauma and which resulted in adulthood drug problem addiction. Just like I was telling y'all with these rappers that get burnt, bent over a table to get that deal, a lot of them get strung out on lean or whatever the drug is of the decade or whatever the fuck. Because <laughs> while they rich and famous now, they psychologically, subconsciously or whatever, are still unable to cope with the fact that they done sold their soul, their principles, by giving up that whole, aka soul booty hole, to get famous. They gave that up. They compromise themselves, but these child actors didn't probably have the same uh, decision making, the same awareness. You know what I mean? They were just straight taken advantage of. So mm. when, I, when I see, and it's not just Orlando I believe that. These claims. You know what I mean? There have been other whispers and rumors about Diddy's sexuality for years. Jaguar Wright has also made some pretty shocking admissions. According to Jaguar, she knows a lawyer who walked in on Diddy and Christopher Williams in a compromising position. I'm talking about Felicio, honey. And get this, the door wasn't even locked. When the lawyer walked in, she saw Christopher Williams down on his knees, doing his thing while Diddy just sat... What? So Christopher Williams, don't wake me, I'm dreaming, woo. This nigga basically polishing off your boy. Hmm. Yeah, Lando Brown's down bad. I loved him on that So Raven. What happened to him? That's crazy. They're enjoying the ride. Now, I don't know about you, but that sounds like some serious scandalous behavior to me. But wait, it gets even more disturbing. According to Jaguar, they didn't even stop when the lawyer walked in. Honey, that is just plain disrespectful. But if you thought that was bad, wait until you hear what Diddy's ex-bodyguard Jean Deal had to say. Watch the door, don't let nobody come through here. And I said I watched the door. If I watched the door and him and a man ran out naked and I said that, hey, nobody told me that. He confirmed that whatever Jaguar said was nothing but the truth. So there's a whole lot of evidence about what Diddy really gets up to at times, and honestly, it sounds a little creepy. That being said, it's not a surprise that it's coming to light now the steamy details of the relationship. Look at this nigga. Come on now. And Usher have been revealed. Only you wiping a nigga mouth off and shit? Come on, bro. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Let me let me chop that right there. That, Damn. That is the. The Diddy, what are you doing? <laughs>